I remember wanting to be an actor from around the age of like five. Um, and because my family was really performative, we used to perform at family gatherings and stuff. But what actually did it for me was watching The Color Purple when I saw Whoopi Goldberg and she looked like me. And I was like, oh, I could do this. I could do this for a living. And that's when I feel that it, it really became a bug. My very first experience on a film set was on The Constant Gardener and it was, I had just come home for, from school uh, at Hampshire College and they were filming in my neighborhood and I was like, I have to find my way onto that set. And so uh, luckily a friend of mine was one of the actors on, on, in the movie and he introduced me to the production team and they put me on probation uh, for a week. I was a, person, a production assistant and uh, then I was promoted to first team PA. So my responsibilities were looking after Ray Fiennes and Rachel Weisz and things like that. And um, it was incredible, you know, to see how this big, machine worked and uh, I, it just felt right, like that's what I wanted to do. For my undergrad, I, st I studied film studies and African studies as well. I went to this very liberal arts school where you could design your own major. So those are the interests that, that I took on. And I wanted to make a documentary because I had never tried to do a thing like that at school. And um, the subject that I chose at the end of the day was albinism in Kenya because um, I knew a person with albinism and I didn't know anything about her experience uh, and I found myself feeling shame for not understanding someone that I considered to be my friend. And albinism in particular was an interesting subject because they're the one group of people that unify all races and having come to the United States was the first time that I really had to consider myself as being black and, um, and to learn what my race meant uh, because race is such an, an, an important part of understanding American uh, society. 12 Years a Slave is based on a true story about a man called Solomon Northup that lived in the United States in upstate New York in the 1800s before the Civil War. And he was born free. He had a career and a family and children, drew hopes and dreams. And in his late 20s, he got abducted and sold into slavery down south in Louisiana where he spent 12 years of his life. And the film is about that life in slavery. You know, one of the reasons why I, want, I enjoy acting is because it gives me a chance to experience circumstances and lives that I would otherwise not have the opportunity to experience. I enjoy being able to take on different social, economic and cultural backgrounds. And so when I was given this opportunity to play this woman, a slave, um, from a time that uh, really is, is not part of my everyday life. I mean, it was such a gift as an actor to be able to lend myself to that kind of story. Our discussions were always just geared towards character and creating a real human being on screen. I, of course, did what I needed to do in order to bring that person into the room. And it's, it was really about like trying to find not only the inner workings of the character, but also the external circumstances and the physicality that would have lent itself to that inner character. And that's what we really focused on building. So we never had any sort of like bigger picture discussion. And I'm really looking forward to that discussion happening on the public platform. Mm -hmm.